If you want to be a SOC analyst or a penetration tester, you must know these nine things about network packets. If you understand these things, everything else should come easy. The entire internet, every device, the system you're watching this on uses network packets. To be a value to any SOC team, penetration testing team, you have to have a solid understanding of what a network packet is. Packets are the internet's motor. Without them, the internet doesn't exist. Networks don't exist. These nine steps that I'm about to tell you will give you some insight on how to dissect a network packet and understand them. If you can grasp a solid understanding, most cybersecurity tools will seem easy after that point. It's like a car. Once you learn to drive, you can hop in any car. You just have to learn a different options because they all have the motor, right? It works the same way. Number one, capture the network packet. Using sniffer tools such as Wireshark can help you capture these packets. This puts them all in one place so you can look at them easily. Now you can analyze them. Number two, open the packet. Seems simple. When you open the packet, it might seem like gibberish, but now we dive in. Number three, inspecting the packet headers. The headers are what tells you where the packet's coming from, where it's going, what, the protocol, what protocol it's using, and some other data as well. Looking at this, you can determine the source IP, the destination IP, the port numbers, etc. Number four, identify the protocol. Now it's time to determine what protocol the packet is using. Is it TCP? Is it UDP? Is it ICMP? Who knows, right? You're going to look and you're going to find out. If you aren't sure what these are, start Googling them. They can be very easy to understand with very little research. This will help you determine and understand the packet's content. Number five, decoding the payload. Now that you know what the header is and, the, and what protocols it's using, it's time to look at the payload. This is the meat and potatoes of the packet. Is this DNS traffic? Is it FTP traffic? Is, is it HTTP traffic? If so, what's its purpose? Number six, analyze packets. Now, when you take a deep dive, are there specific patterns, errors, anomalies? Understanding this deeper will help you understand communication between devices. Number seven, follow the packet flow. Look at the packet before this one and after this one that you're looking at to see if you're seeing complete conversations or are you just seeing, seeing a tiny piece of it. Follow the chain of events behind this specific series of packets. Number eight, understand the packet purpose. Overall, what purpose does this packet serve? Does it support a specific purpose to your organization or does it constitute a security concern? Number nine, useful filters. Are you looking at all of the packets coming in and out? Do you just wanna see DNS traffic or maybe HTTPS traffic? Using tools like Wireshark can help you filter down and only see what you want. SIMS, EDR, XDR, all these tools are built to analyze these packets. If you understand what's under the hood, it won't matter what piece of software you're driving. Before you know it, you'll be cruising down A1A. If you like this content, please subscribe. Every week, I send out tips like these in an email. You can get them if you subscribe at breakincyber.com.